Go back. Go back. That'll do! Well, I go! Good boys! Good morning, beautiful morning this morning, apart from the fog down below. But uh, I think it is clearing, hopefully. We are scanning, scanning in a couple of hours, uh, a bit earlier than what I expected, but um, that's right, we'll get these hues down, and then we've got to shoot across the road and get the hoggets in. Read. Just behave. Come on, someone lead through the gate. There we go, good girls. Read. I really need to tidy all this wood up, don't I? Wait. All right. Leave them for there. Leave them there for now. I'm going to get the next mob in. Fuffy, I want to take your jacket off, eh? Fuff. So the fog is clearing. Still a wee bit down here, but um, well, it'll clear enough to get them over the road, which is good. I was getting a bit nervous here for a bit. The next mob, we've got to get in on these hoggets, so get them off the crop, run them around. Um, yeah, let them empty out a wee bit. Uh, so hopefully, I opened the gates up yesterday uh, into the other paddocks we've got to run through to get up onto the road. So hopefully, uh, it will go smoothly.
Good morning. Alistair's just bringing the, I'm sure he's explained, bringing the hoggets over to be scanned, which is pretty exciting. A little bit stressful this morning with um, lots and lots of fog, he had to muster them down. Probably took you guys with him. I'm sure you've all been wondering where on earth I've been in the last videos, eh? Yeah, like, you're all just going, where's Jenna? Did she leave him? Was it because... Is it because he's just so annoying and he got so famous that she had to leave? Well, no. It's not that. No, I just hurt my back. So he's been running around after everybody. <laughs> so, you don't see some stuff in the videos. Um, trying to juggle all of that. Um, it's been three weeks and I drove for the first time yesterday. So he, he being Alistair, has been taking the kids to school, picking them up. Of course I've had help from my lovely family very much as well. Um, but these are things you don't want. Speaking of all that, I'm going to have to put you on stop to open the gate. <laughs> so I got the gate open. Fog's coming back in, which is not great because sheep are very hard to see in the fog. And my horse is heading over to the open gates, so this will be fun. Let's just see what happens. Beautiful morning though. I've been annoying Alistair with pointing out all the cobwebs. Probably can't see it in the video, but all the cobwebs have been lit up highlighted or whatever by the fog <laughs> he's like yeah yeah got better things to do than look at cobwebs <laughs> that reminds me of a saying i think it's an aussie saying i'm not here to f spiders yeah it's a good one that one that was my stuff up there was a um i let the traffic there's a lot of traffic today and i let a guy through the poor bugger it was at the same time as the sheep Very nice when people um, slow down and just take their time. Oh, if I had my camera out, it'd be a good shot. Beautiful girls, and you go. Good girls, you know where to go. That's it. That's it. That's it. Got you. Good girls. <laughs> hey. Oh. Well done girls, looking good. Looking good. Beautiful. These are our youngest ones. Keep going girls. Keep going, you got some foot. Get a bit of mud between their toes. Thanks, that was my stuff up. I didn't see the sheep coming. So, like it. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, he's not here to spiders, is he? <laughs> he's off. <sighs> Coffee will sort him out. One thing that makes me giggle is um, we have the big bulls out in the front paddock here with my pointy stick and people drive in this gateway and they say why don't the bulls get out and say oh there's a cattle stop at the front I'm like what does that do <laughs> well it stops cattle funny eh they're quite old school but generally speaking cattle don't like to jump over them but these little girls jumpy young ones So yes, yeah, sheep, well especially our sheep, jump a lot more. So they can, if, they, if there's a lot of sheep in here, they can take a running jump and over there and onto the very fast moving main road. So, in light of that, when Alistair comes through, I, oh, Alistair put in this gate here, which is grand. 
So I will shut that, stop them getting over the cattle stop. Because it's not a sheep stop. <laughs> True story. Shut this gate, eh? No. No. Put these in the yard. Okay. Very good. Hog it's in. Get him behind. Well, I go, Jasper. After some very disobedient dogs. Right. Let me just wait for Daniel to turn up. Get him behind, Foth. Well, I go. Well, I go. Go and get up. Well, I go, Foth. Well, I go, Foth. Go and get up. I saw, saw you in the paper the other, the other day. Yes. With your seven million. Seven million sheep. Seven million yeah. sheep. Oh, I saw that. It shows why I was lighting the fire this morning. I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the picture. Yeah. Oh, I wanted to get a photo of you with your picture, but I don't know where the article is. You should have gone and got it, yeah. Yeah. That's pretty it's, cool, isn't it? It snuck up on me. It was actually only because someone asked me how many I've done. Oh, yeah. That, that we locked. So how long you had your trailer for? Just over a month, five weeks. Just over a month. Yeah. So how many you put through in the, in the month, you reckon? I don't know. Put you on the spot. 40,000, 50,000 <laughs> yeah. yeah, so it's working all right? It's working good, yeah. 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 Few wee teething issues, but um, nothing. Are yeah. oh, you always gonna get that on a... Less than I expected. So. Like you said, a custom build. Yeah. Tight squeeze in made some quick modifications we have to build a gate to go in there sometime but um, Daniel assures me that this trailer is going to be here for a while so we're just going to be using it for a while so um, yeah hopefully we can draft the drives just straight out that panel there <laughs> all going well and then we've got Joe neighbor is helping us the scanning today since uh, Jenna hurt her back three weeks ago I suppose now so she's not running around as fit as she used to be
poggets. These are the ones we've been making on kale. And we're pretty interested to see how they all go first time mating on kale. Um, yeah, we shall, we, we shall know fairly shortly. The trailer's pretty cool. Seems to be working quite well. She got just one lamb. Just one? Oh, yep. that's good. She's a pet, George's pet. George's pet. About 70 days in lamb today. Just to scratch under 70 days in lamb. Oh, yeah. Good girl, Buttercup. Alright, and that's it for them. That's them. Did you want to take a photo? 110%. Oh yeah? Yep. So we've got 37 MDs, 280 singles, 75 twins. It's probably our best target result ever, I think. That's good scare, yeah. 110. Yeah. Win for the kale. Alright. We'll uh, run these U's around. Onto the mixed stage U's. Ones that have just been shorn. Thanks to Cho, Millie, Lawson, and Georgia for giving us a hand help scanning. Massive help. Thanks, guys. MDs, 261 singles, 492 twins, three triplets. Probably shouldn't even scan triplets, really. <laughs> uh, early's a mark, early's a either. There's a hand, was one early triplet, a couple of early singles, both of them, but either twins are unknown. Yeah, yeah, that's where those all go together. Yep. So we ended up with some earlies, must have had a ram floating around, a ram, ram lamb floating around. Oh yeah, we've got one in here to grab. Somewhere. It's a weird circus. Unmarked, Sean unmarked. Is it? Is that a common design to lower that down, lift that up like that on the leaf spring, or is it something you they came up uh, with? I think Google and Pinterest might have given us the whole Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I've seen it on car trailers, someone has set up on the winch. Oh, yeah. Uh, originally, we were going to use airbags, but we didn't quite get the physics of it right, and they yeah. weren't strong enough. To, to have them strong enough to lift, we didn't have enough lifting distance. Yeah. Um, oh, that works, though. That, that, this works well, yeah. Mm. 
long as you've got enough battery power. Yeah, and you've got to remember to back it off, otherwise you blow the winch to pieces. Yeah, yeah. So we went into a low shed the other day, and it didn't quite fit in, so we actually lowered it to within a few inches of the ground, and then we were done. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's the beauty of it, I suppose. Yeah. Thank you, Dan, Thank for, you. Another, for another season. Okay. Yep. Good scanning of the hoggets. Yeah. With that? Yeah, stoked. Yep. yep. So yep. Is that your best ever, is it? Yeah. yeah. I think we've done 100 a couple of times, but 110 now, it's pretty, pretty yeah. good. Yep. Yep. So, we'll have to look at that kale thing a bit more, I think. Yeah, a lot of people made a use on it as well. Yep. Makes a big difference. Yep. It's just having enough area. Um, yeah. hmm, so, and the cost of all crops and stuff oh, nowadays. Yeah, yeah well, that's a, <laughs> so lots of things that make a big difference, but whether it's a cost effective difference. Yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. But it's lambs on the ground, but we sell everything store, so the number of live lambs we can get out the gate, the better. So, yeah, have to do some figures on that. Yeah. Mm. Yep. Magic. Oh, the joys of having a pet in the flock, eh? She's still out there, marrying her head off. Hopefully the girls are down here doing the right thing. Getting them all in the right way. Are they right, Jenna? Is that Junior? Is that Junior? Where are you taking my ladies? Where are you taking my ladies? Georgia, Buttercup's still in the paddock. We'll have to catch her. We'll have to catch Buttercup, she's still in the paddock. Really? Yep. Buttercup got the special treatment, didn't you? Hmm? Sit down. Oh, with Alfie biting sit down. Oh, is he being caught? Get, sit down. Yeah. Come here, Buttercup. Check your foot again. Can you hold that for me, Millie? Can you video me? Come here. I know. Check your foot. Get up, Alfie! What happened to us? What happened to her? I don't know. She's just got a sore, bit of a sore foot. She's alright. Not a big deal. Hmm? Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Come on. Thank you. Yeah, See you, you Buttercup. Bye. We'll open your gates up in your crop later. So we're just going to let the ewes Mixed days use who we use into this paddock here for tonight, for tonight. And then we're going to um, get them back in again in the morning and draft them up into um, there's a few there's a few earlies, there's some uh, skinny ones, lighter ones that need to be pulled out. So yeah, they can have a have a bit of a pick, pick of a feed in here. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> right, big old day. Uh, just gonna feed the dogs. Shut up the wool shed and um, we will, yeah, end the day there. But we'll see you tomorrow because we'll get those ewes in and we'll draft them up. But Good morning, Monday morning. Dropped Georgia off at school, went and did uh, lease block, lambing, beat, uh, new set of twins down there. Still got our, our single from uh, last night just over here um, at home. And just getting these hill ewes in, these are, so everything, uh, all the hill ewes, um, so the lighter conditioned ones, the later mated ones, ev everything all together. And we're going to run them through the yards and we're going to draft them out into three lines. So just getting them in, um, spent the night in this hill paddock. Oh, they're, they're, they're flying down, mustering down pretty well. Beautiful day. So I've got all these ewes in the yards. We'll start drafting them up. So I just
just me in the yards today. Jenna's um, yeah, feeling pretty average with her crook back. So just me and who we got, Foof and Jasper, two hunterways. So we'll see, uh, should, should be all right. So just opened it up for the hill use to go back up onto the hill. Well, so the hill, a better conditioned hill use. Um, and then what I just did was drenched the lighter conditioned hill use. And they're just gonna go on the flats and then we'll give them a bit of TLC. So they've had a, a worm drench and a, a mineral drench. And then, yeah, they'll go on the flats and then we'll give them, make sure they're right up with their salt. And then high energy lick blocks. Um, might even throw a bit of barley in there as well just to try and try and pick their condition up a bit because uh, they're a bit light and so most of them are tutus so um yeah they obviously didn't handle the hill country getting pushed um terribly well so but they'll be all right we've got about seven weeks until lambing so we'll pick them up they'll um yeah we should have enough time to put some condition on them but it's always hard putting condition on ewes it's easier to maintain but yeah i just didn't you only know when you put a hand on them really what their conditions are like so that's all right done now so we just got to fix it and then what we've got over here is 120 early ewes maternal ewes that were not meant to be early so must have had a ram lamb ro roaming around in the scrub there somewhere um and he's done a bit of a business on them so we've got them pulled out we're going to give them the same, uh, an anthelmintic, so a worm drench, mineral drench, and then they'll get a five and one, and then we'll trailer them all down to the lease block, and they'll they'll land down there. So We were looking at putting about another hundred odd ewes down at the lease block, so these are the ones that'll go down there, and yeah, they'll fit the bill. And then we'll, um, before we set stock them down there, we'll actually set them, uh, draft them out into condition so good condition poor condition and then we can set stock them accordingly um, as to what kind of feed that they can go on so we'll get into this and get it done so done the vaccinations i'm gonna do well, drenches now so two drenches just while i remember thanks very much to lynn from utopia farms canada she gave us a shout out in one of her videos about four days ago so welcome to those subscribers that have come across from there and if you haven't already check out Lynn's uh, YouTube channel I'll put a link in the, the description yeah pretty interesting um, system completely different from what we do here indoors um, one big thing is uh, when the weather turns crappy I wish I had her system that we could bring all the ewes indoors and get them out of the, the crap weather but hey we, we don't have that so we make do with what we've got so thanks very much again um, appreciate the shout out So the other thing we're doing is giving them a lice treatment. Normally do that after shearing. So this is after shearing. This will be the last time that they come in until tailing. So we're giving them some top line, I think it is. Uh, oh no, is that Encore? Um, I think it's 17 mils just for lice. 75 kilo U. So a couple of swipes for this. And it's uh, pretty easy. Bit of a rundown of what we've got going on here. Three ewes to shear, and then they'll go with the hills lighter conditioned ones. These are the lighter conditioned early ewes, 
Uh, there's some single uh, early ewes over there that I may or may not put with the early ones we've got across the road, already drafted out. These are the better condition, early ewes, hill early ewes. Oh, takes a bit to get your head around. Um, so we're just going to count these out and we'll go inside and work out a set stocking plan. We'll trailer them down to the lease block and with all their uh, animal health treatments already done, we can just dump them straight into the paddock they need to, they'll be in for lambing, which should be good. So no uh, set stocking, splitting them off, running them down the road, all that fun stuff. So we'll have a count of these. Thirty-seven, which is uh, seventy-four. Seventy-four of them. Twenty-six. Uh, Twenty-six, which is fifty-two. So seventy-four and fifty-two. Right, I'll go work out where they're all going to go. Well, ladies, your new home. Sutherley's blowing through, it's a bit horrible. These are the girls, yeah, plenty of grass here. These are the lighter ones, so 18 a load on this trailer. One more load to do for these girls, and then we'll start on the uh, better condition ones that'll go into a different paddock. Right, that's all these lights I use in this paddock. We're um, just gonna carry on and do the other ones now. Might go swap the trailer for a bigger one, slightly bigger one. Uh, Father-in-law's got a lock here. We can fit probably another six or seven ewes on each load, which will help. Um, so hopefully three, only three more loads left. So might just leave that there, leave this video here. Um, pretty stoked about the scanning results. So 110 in the heifer, uh, heifers, 110 in the hoggets. We'll just get in here, so it's a bit out of the wind. 110, 110 in the hoggets and um, 160 in the hill use so not too bad um, yeah definitely pretty stoked about the hoggets with the kale so um, yeah we'll probably be doing that again mating on kale um, as long as you get all your animal health stuff right and make sure we, we find make sure you've got the good runoff grass runoff paddock they've always got to pick a grass as well then you're trying to mitigate a lot of those animal health issues that you get with um, kale or grazing uh, animals on on one species of feed so we're just gonna drive along and another three loads so it'll take me what the two hours or so listen to some Joseph and Dean and get it done so thanks for watching and uh, we will see you in the next one oh Millie's birthday tomorrow so got to try and make sure I get all this done tonight so I can have a bit of an easier day tomorrow right see you later bye so one last thing just thought I'd update you on some um, tallies everyone well, there's a few comments that people ask how many ewes we run or how many, you know, in each mob or whatever. So, um, 749 hill ewes is what we scanned yesterday. So they were the 160%. Uh, 360 hoggets, they came out at 110. So that 300, these are all in lamb. Um, and then, yeah, 360 odd uh, early ewes that are lambing at the moment. We just, just started, so uh, only three lambs on the ground as of today. But yeah. So those are those are pretty much what we're running, and then we've got the 100, 100 odd mixed age cows, or not 80 mixed age cows, and then heifers and all that stuff as well. So. Hi, here we are at um, seven o'clock at night, and we are putting some sheep into the wool shed. I think. No, we're putting them on a trailer to take them down to where their feed is, which happens to be down at the lease block, and. Late birthday present giver, so I have to buy one today, and her birthday's tomorrow. So, take after your mother. <laughs> These are the sheep going past.